Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. We're going to be doing something very different today and playing Age of Empires 2 on an Xbox with a controller. This, of course, just came out today and I've only got a couple of hours of experience with it, so I certainly wouldn't say I know everything, but I can give you guys some of my initial impressions at least. And, you know, if you're thinking about getting it or you're not sure, uh, or certainly if you're wondering about how the whole automated economy thing works, uh, we're going to be taking a look at that. Now, just a heads up before we start, for some reason the recording I find are coming out a little bit blurry. Now, I don't have a lot of experience recording on console as I'm primarily a PC guy, but I just want to let you know that the game is quite sharp on my TV as I'm playing it. Just for some reason when I record it, uh, everything was just coming out kind of blurry. So just a heads up. Also, before we get to gameplay, I just want to show you that there is mods. They didn't mention anything about this, but it's kind of weird. You've only got these three mods, so small trees, this winter celebration, and a no snow mod, and that's it. So I don't know if there's going to be more that's there. Uh, not really sure. And you also don't have the scenario editor. I will bet you it's not going to be added, but that's just my thought there. One thing we could do, I was thinking we could go through the tutorial missions, but honestly, I think that seems kind of boring. Instead, we're just going to go right into a skirmish, and I'll show you what I've figured out about it so far. All right, uh, let's see. Am I going to pick civilization? You notice that the, uh, the UI, I kind of like it a little better. <laughs> I like how the right is unique info. It's just the team bonus in the description. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, you know what would be overpowered, man, is Hans. Because, boy, not having to build houses. At least so far, I have really felt like I'm a noob all over again. And just way too slow. But I'll just put up to random. I uh, hope I don't regret this. Uh, I'm just going to go... Um, uh, for the A, I'm just going to go standard difficulty here. Uh, so you do actually have all the game modes and everything. So that's nice. And, you know, you can pick... Uh, like the full list of maps. Like it really is uh, the full functioning game, even though the UI uh, looks quite a bit different. Uh, I'm just going to go on standard difficulty. I'm uh, not really looking for a challenge here. I'm more looking to just show off and try to get used to some of these, uh, these new things. Because they have done a lot to make it controller-centric. So, hoping for a good sieve. Let's go. Come on, Hans. Mollians. Okay. Not what I was going for. All right. Well, I mean, cheaper houses and stuff, I guess. All right, so a couple things. Uh, first of all, really important is the D-pad. I think that's what it's called. That is used a lot. So, like, right now I grab it and I just hit Y to queue up some villagers. Uh, hold down A so I can select multiple and just hit Y so I can build a house. Uh, again, do that here. I you can see it's pretty quick. Uh, I can grab all my livestock by using the D-pad. So everything, I mean, those first few seconds, it's not necessarily full speed, but it's pretty good. And we'll get you guys here. Now, what I could do is I could have the AI basically decide for me what my economy is going to be. So I can go food and wood, but I'll show you, that's not as good as you might think. So this is the initial concern is, oh man, that's going to be so broken. I can so do uh, waypoints there. But, like, here's how it thinks. It thinks, oh, I've got four on sheep, so now I'm going to start putting one on wood. Right? And I bet you this next villager, I bet you it goes on wood. Okay, we'll see. So it's trying to balance wood and food. Obviously, in a real build order, you would put six on sheep. And then you start putting them on wood. So instead here, I think we're going to have some TC idle time by using this. So right away, this is not doing a proper build order. The AI, Extreme AI itself, plays much better than this. Okay, and here, so I just hold down A and it makes this little circle to grab things. Just selecting things and waypoints all takes a little bit longer. Uh, like right there, like a jump back. Yeah, I don't know. It still does some weird behavior. Okay, just to finish my thoughts on the automatic economy thing. Honestly, it's so nice once you get to the point you actually have an army and you're trying to control your units. And basically, you can just focus on your military and moving them around, albeit on a controller, so it is actually a bit harder. The problem with it, though, is I think it really brings up the floor of the game. So there's only so bad you can be when literally all you have to do is sit here. You can put your scout on auto scout. You can just sit here and you can just keep hitting Y to queue up more villagers. You know, give it one of these distributions and it'll just do the whole thing for itself, basically. Uh, so I'm not saying you're going to be playing great. You'll probably be playing like a 500 ELO player. But if you're under 500 ELO, that means you're probably going to get better immediately just doing it on console, to be honest, even without a keyboard. Uh, now, of course, you're not going to get proper build orders and stuff, so 
you certainly wouldn't be able to play at a very high level doing this kind of thing. Especially at this point in the early game, it's probably better just to do it manually. When it gets really useful though, is when you start getting a little bit further, when you got like 20 villagers, and that's where I find it's actually helpful. And boy, it loves straggler trees. Get over here, bud. Okay, why are you doubling back already? All right, so let me show you something else. You can hit uh, RB, and now I'm controlling my mini map here. So I can send him, and I can actually put the waypoints on here. So you can actually use this. And once you open that up, you can also go over and you can press Y, and you can instantly jump places. And that's something I'm trying to get used to. I actually do find it's quite helpful. Can I overrule my build order, I wonder, by telling it to send a villager up here? I wonder. Oh, the other thing. Oh boy. Luring boar is the scariest thing in the world. <laughs> on console, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so you can garrison if you're hovering over your town center and press X, but if you don't have it planned out, it's so easy to lose a villager to the boar. Let's see, it's gonna come up. Uh, okay, I'm housed, but don't have time for that. So X, you can actually garrison. Uh, let's build a house, and I can actually queue up a couple. Um, and let's see, oh, the other thing. So if I'm highlighting a berry bush, I can actually press the right trigger and I open this up, and it's gonna give me the option of building a mill right here. And it's just gonna grab a random villager to come build that, which for some reason grabbed <laughs> one of my lumberjacks. How about we grab this guy right here? There you go. Uh, let's put him back. So same thing here, if I'm beside the wood and I press the right trigger, look, I can build a lumber camp just like that. I don't have to, you know, go around in here and find buildings and, you know, go through my buildings. I don't have to do that. All right, let's make sure we're queuing up villagers. Should probably grab the next boar. Didn't actually notice where he was. It's over here. Now, I actually haven't figured out how to use control groups yet, or if that's even possible, as it would be really nice to have the villagers under the town center as a control group, but I just haven't figured that out. Okay, so this guy just finished, but he's gonna get a job, I'm sure. Yeah, so it automatically puts him over on berries, just keep him busy. That's huge if you normally have difficulty keeping track of your villagers and keeping them working. All right. The, the micro is a little tricky. Okay. Also, there's no go back to work button. There's only ungarrison. So you have to specifically, whatever you're pointing at when you tell them to ungarrison, they're going to do it. And also, there's just going to be dead sheep everywhere. I haven't found a good way to not do that. Uh, so don't judge me on that. Okay, let's see. I hold down this button. And I'm just going to explore the map a little bit. Uh, somehow the AI has got a higher score than me. Maybe he's just scouting better than me. Uh, oh, actually. Okay, so to unqueue villagers, it's a little complicated. You go into town center, uh, you press the right trigger, and you go over and you press B. And then you can deselect how many you've got queued up. So it kind of overqueued there. I don't know. I'm still getting used to this. But uh, see, it's not putting enough on wood now for my liking. I actually want more on wood. Okay, next, we need a barracks. Okay, so these guys, it's going to assign them, right? Yeah, perfect. Oh, did I not click up to the next age? Whoops. All right, that's not good. I thought I was advancing the last 45 seconds or so. Mm, economy. Yeah, that's really going to hurt my advance time. I could have gone up so much sooner. I've got 300 extra food right now. Uh, no, come on, guys, come on. All right, queue him up. Yeah, it's not smart. I mean, you can see, like, these guys built this mill, and instead of taking from these right here, they're trying to walk all the way over to my berries. I mean, you can just tell. Eh, this is not smart. The other thing is, oh, I should really... How do I do that? Uh-oh, I don't know how to do this, because this is going to be real bad. Okay, so I can open this, and I can say, don't build farms. Or else, as soon as this is done, I'm going to have no wood for anything else like stables or any of that okay so now uh upgrade just click on this boom get this and i think at this point uh how do i do it open this and i'll let them build farms if they really want to so when this is used up i just want to make sure i give them some work first now one thing I do really like is I can either go into the stable and select the scout or I can just press Y and it just assumes that I want to make a scout and I don't know, it's a nice little feature, saves a bit of time. 
into right and let's just build some whatever uh okay for some reason i had three villagers here and one of them is gone i also think i should queue this up next to get this guy uh so this is nice so here i am doing this these guys are all idle they'll just figure it out they're gonna start making farms unfortunately not around the town center but there it is and if they can't make farms they're just gonna go up here and they're just gonna start chopping wood go over to gold they're gonna find other things to do and that's why i say this gets really really strong uh if you're already a player that you know you, you're if your hard thing in this game is keeping track of everything and having idle villagers and everything this is going to be really strong for you all right i can even hold the right trigger i can open this up let's put them on defensive i think so I can press A and I can try to attack individual villagers, or I can press X and they'll just attack move. And you can see that it actually tells me what they're targeting. Oops. Uh, you guys, no, 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 no. Okay, one other nice thing here. So if I want to go back to my town center, I hit that down pad twice, and I'm right back there. Now to go back to my scouts, the best way I know is to select all my military with the left one, and then I hit the... Uh, left joystick and suddenly I'm back it is really hard though uh, I'm not gonna lie that is the hardest part of all of this is keeping track of your military and your economy and that's where having all the automated economy is so powerful all right let's go up here um, and now I can select my stable uh, just Y to queue that up just looking for a wood line I can hit here There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, this is so nice not being against the extreme AI. It doesn't actually fight back with its villagers. Oh, that's a lot of spearmen. Okay. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. If there was just one of them. Maybe we could do that. All right, what do we need? I actually need to stock up a lot of wood. Yeah, this is what happens. It's just so hard to be on both sides of the map when you're using a controller like this. Oh, and double click. See, they're just too aggressive. It's hard to control your units here sometimes. Though obviously it's something you just get better with as you play it more. All right, the other thing I can do is if I don't want to grab a villager and I don't care who does it, I just go out here, hit the right trigger and I can open this and I can just build whatever I want. Unfortunately, my guys are using up all my wood so I'm actually going to say no on farms for a moment. Uh, yep. So now I can go down and build. A little finicky. A little blacksmith. Let's see. Oh, here. Uh, I'll see an archery range. So let's uh, let's think about doing that. So one thing, it would be a lot easier and probably too easy if it would sort of adjust this build to whatever you're making. But if you're making a lot of archers, you know, or you're kind of low on gold or something, like if I added two archery ranges or whatever, it would put seven on gold. That would probably be a little bit too easy. But I guess that would be the next level. Next level AI. Put another archery range. We're just going to build these up for a while. All right, here we go. Just hitting Castle Age. We got Thumb Ring, and to upgrade these guys, I build them with A, but I press X, and I can upgrade them. So I've queued the upgrade, queue a bunch of units. I uh, don't have the wood for some reason. I uh, don't have the wood for another town center. I'm not sure why I'm so short on wood. I guess just putting a lot on gold. That's fine, we'll just, we'll pretend this was intentional. We'll just go one town center. Oh, I was going to make some knights as well. Let's see. Knights. I can't remember what Sivy is. Ah, uh, Magyars. Hmm. So maybe we should actually make some camels. Okay. And perfect. Oh, so wait. How do you delete stuff? We click on this and press two buttons together. Totally doable. Uh, let's see. Economy, town center. I'll just run that woodline. I don't mind that woodline. Nice and safe in the back. Okay. 
Okay, so you can see, like, a lot of this, like, all these farms not having to place that, that's massive. And in one of the interviews, Adam Ice Green talks about, you know, he wants to make you feel like a general, like you're kind of overhead and you're doing all the strategizing rather than the little nitty gritty. That definitely is what the automated uh, thing feels like. For some reason, it's not putting any on stone. I'm not sure why that is. Okay, well, I'm hoping I'm just gonna just steamroll this guy here. Let's, uh, let's grab some upgrades. Okay, no food, that's fine. I mean, if you look, I'm really not floating that many resources. Like, it's doing a good job managing my economy for me. Alright, let's, uh, let's move forward. I did want somebody to make... Uh, can I grab a couple of you guys? Let's see, military... Siege workshop. Mm, put the siege workshop maybe back a little bit. Hold up. He's still in feudal age? Oh, bro. At 28 minutes? Maybe I should have gone hard difficulty. Okay, now here's the question. How do I grab just my knights? Well, it's kind of hard. So if, if I want to grab all of them on the screen... I kind have of a few different screens I gotta go to. Uh, that is one thing. I haven't seen, like in some of their early stuff, um, it's just, it felt like there were some ways that you could grab certain units really easily. And I haven't really seen that. That has been my experience. Like grabbing just my knights here, it's pretty difficult without double clicking them. Like theoretically you can hold down one of the buttons and you can go over here and you can Hold this for a period of time, and then it'll select all of them. Uh, yeah, unit control is just a little tricky. I guess what I'm sort of getting at is control groups, and I just haven't figured out if that's even in here, and it didn't come up in the tutorials. Okay, hold on. Both of you guys go. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot harder <laughs> than just regular playing. Oh, and I'm housed. Oh, he just quit. Okay. Well, meanwhile, I was trying to figure out how to make the houses. I just resigned. Dude, you resigned with all of my crossbows standing under your town center? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. So, you can see there. I mean, I'm very new at this, but... Also, boy, I have a real hard time keeping track of my units up front and also what's going on in the back. Um, I'm not sure if that's really the design. I, I, like, I think that's just what a controller is like. Now, I should point out in a different game I played against the Extreme AI, where I was just trying to figure out what I was doing, I actually found the automated economy thing was a bit of a hindrance as it just kept throwing villagers. <laughs> like, if it wanted somebody on stone, it would just keep throwing them on stone. And as those villagers died, it would just keep grabbing new villagers to throw on stone. Like, it can actually be a negative thing in the right context. Again, like I said, I think when this will be unfair is if you're already a sub 500 elo player. And you're struggling just to, you know, put villagers on the right things and come up with a distribution. And it does that for you. That's going to raise the floor. But I also think the ceiling is way brought down just by, you know, the raw actions per minute. I also hear there is going to be cross-play with Steam players, though when I actually tried to go multiplayer, it wouldn't let me do it for some reason. Not only was I having a bit of difficulty connecting, but even when I was connected, it seemed to imply that I had to buy it on Game Pass in order to play online, which doesn't really feel right to me, and I certainly hope that's not the way that they're intending this to go. So again, first impressions, I think it's actually a lot of fun. I think if you don't already use a keyboard, this is probably... You know, a keyboard, probably playing with a keyboard is even harder to pick up than this, if I'm being honest. I mean, I've only played this for a couple of hours, and I'm feeling pretty comfortable on it. I mean, I have to think a little bit before I do everything, but again, it's only been a couple of hours. I'm sure if I did this for a week, this would feel a lot more natural, and there would be less misclicking buttons and stuff. I think, for the most part, I'm just going to be sticking with the PC, but there you go. Plus, they got me to buy Age of Empires for the fourth time. Unbelievable. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.